Impacts, climates change the world. Britain is well known for its green countryside, but behind the peaceful scenes, its woodlands are now facing a growing crisis. In recent years, less spring and summer rainfall has led to more frequent droughts and drier forests. This year, more than 1,000 wildfires have so far been recorded, breaking the record set in 2022. Once kept cool and damp by the British climate, woodland areas are now under threat from pests and diseases, which are spreading faster in the warmer conditions. The latest surveys have determined that only 7% of ancient woodland remains healthy. A study shows seedling survival in 10 primary forests has fallen from 41.3% to 15.8% since 2000. Weakened by many threats, Britain's forests stand on the brink. Can they be saved? We look at the hidden crisis and efforts underway to help them adapt and survive. Today, forests cover just 13% of the United Kingdom's land area. That's far below the EU average, which stands at around 40%. The roots of this issue go back many centuries. English forests were cleared for agricultural purposes as far back as Roman times. William the Conqueror's Great Survey of 1086 recorded that only about 15% of the country was forested. Warning that the UK is one of the most nature-depleted countries in the world, Experts say restoring what has been lost is an urgent task. I think there's a lot of um, competing uh, uses of land across the UK, you know, whether it's farmland, whether it's houses, you know, whether it's roads and trains, you know, there's, um, it, there's not, um, not lots of readily available land. In a country with a limited land area, where industry has long taken priority over nature, the forests have suffered greatly. Now, climate change is dealing them yet another heavy blow. The UK average summer temperature has up to now been 14.59 degrees Celsius. But since the 1990s, numerous extremely hot days exceeding 36.5 degrees have been recorded. In the nationwide heat wave of July 2022, temperatures topped 40 degrees Celsius for the first time on record. The prolonged dry weather prompted drought declarations in many areas, and experts say the impact on the forests has been severe. So in Britain, our problem is going to be establishing all these trees, is having the water to enable all the trees to grow. Um, and as we get more sporadic rain, which comes and disappears and comes and disappears, or as we don't get it in April, when a young tree is just starting to grow, those are going to be our challenges of how we establish more trees in Britain. At COP26, the UK pledged to reverse forest loss by 2030. and cut greenhouse gas emissions to around 800 million tonnes of CO2 equivalent by 2050. But as of 2024, the reduction rate stands at only 54%. Over the next 25 years, a further 46% must be cut. The country's forest cover is the central factor in achieving this goal. The UK needs to plant about 30,000 hectares of trees each year by 2050, but so far has achieved only 45% of that target. Another challenge facing tree planting in the UK lies in the health of the forests themselves. According to a survey by a conservation group, around half of Britain's existing woodland is made up of non-native species and only 7% of its ancient woodland remains in a truly healthy, functioning ecosystem. 
pests and pathogens brought in with imported seedlings and timber are the culprits. As an island nation, Britain has always been vulnerable to invasive species, and they are thriving, spreading, and causing ever greater damage as temperatures rise. Along with insufficient forest management, the environmental changes have led to steep declines in native butterfly and bird species and upset ecosystems. Part of the criteria for good condition is being relatively free of pests and diseases. Uh, the, more, the more diverse uh, a woodland is in terms of the wildlife, the more likely it's going to be able to um, bounce back or um, not be affected as badly from the disease. For instance, if there are, um, if you have lots of different tree species and a uh, disease comes and affects one of those species, um, the, the wood can carry on functioning with, as it's got the, the resilience, the lots of different species to be able to keep going and, and not be too affected by um, if one species does less well. Amid these challenges, Britain is now turning its attention to a rapid way of creating healthy forests a Japanese tree planting method called the Miyawaki method. Developed in the 1970s by Dr. Miyawaki Akira, it recreates an area's natural ecosystem using native plants and trees. It's a technique that delivers both speed and long-term health to the forest it creates. Since 2020, the UK government and local authorities have carried out plantings at around 20 sites across the country. The soil of a plot the size of a tennis court is dug to around one metre to improve its aeration and drainage. Compost and mycorrhizal fungi are mixed in, creating perfect conditions for tree roots. Then, a mix of native tree species is planted at a dense rate of three to six saplings per square meter. This close planting creates fierce competition for the limited light and nutrients, so the trees send their roots deeper and grow upward faster, accelerating their development. The canopy shades the forest floor, keeping the sunlight from striking the soil directly which helps it retain moisture and creates woodland more resilient to drought. This is a plot planted five years ago. The trees on the left have been grown using the traditional method, those on the right using the Miyawaki method. Throughout our monitoring over the last five years, we've um, been able to calculate that the average survival rate of the Miyawaki plots is around 80%, whereas the average survival rate for the control plots is around 47%. And in the UK, we had a really bad drought in summer 2022. We watered both sides of the plot exactly the same. They received the exact same amount of water, but the trees in the Miyawaki side, not a leaf was out of place. They looked really healthy and green. Following the government trials, conservation groups and communities across the country have been embracing the Miyawaki method to create their own tiny forests. Citizen Science Monitoring Report found that three-year-old forests absorb water 56.7% faster than surrounding land. The average carbon stored by these forests increases rapidly from 2.12 kilograms in their first year to 87.5 kilograms in their third year. A wide variety of insects has also been observed here, a sign that these woodlands could help revive the local ecosystem as a whole. It's really good at increasing the tree cover in that place, but, whether, but because they're deliberately small patches, they are not um, going to affect the national target significantly. But the lessons that we've learned about how we plant and what you plant, and those lessons can be applied to all tree planting, and that will affect the national targets. Government trials have ended, but funding for private and community projects continues. With no time to lose, restoration of the nation's forests will press on.